Nigel, but first of all, here's the reaction of one of the goal scorers, Kevin De Bruyne. Kevin, it was an extraordinary game to watch. Just how intense was it? Yeah, it was hard. Um, and to be fair, I think we played that match at the end as well. Yeah, it's a clear chance, obviously. Yeah, we had to chose to chip the keeper. You know, if it goes in, it's a, it's a wonder goal. It didn't go in today, but uh, yeah, that's it. Did that demonstrate just how close it is between these two? Yeah, I think so, but I think, like I said, I think today we played very well. I think we had the upper hand today, but uh, we didn't win. That that can happen, uh, but this is the way we need to play the, the rest of the games. And because it's Liverpool and another game gone, is it a better point for you than it is for them? No, I think it's similar. Um, obviously, I know a lot of people spoke, whoever wins the title um, goes to there, but I, I don't think that neither of, of both teams would think that way. It's way too hard. The schedule is way too tough uh, for for both teams to 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 win all the games. So we're going to try, but uh, I think the way we play today is the way we need to move forward. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you. Well, that's Kevin De Bruyne's view. We are joined live by a fellow Dutchman of Nigel De Jong's, uh, Virgil Van Dijk. Um, wow, we're just getting our breath watching that. What was it like to play him? Same, <laughs> expected. Um... Obviously, it was uh, always going to be an intense game. Also, a game that goes end to end, I think, because obviously, uh, with the quality both teams have. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was expected. Obviously, we don't want to concede goals at all, but unfortunately, it happened today. And uh, I think second half was, uh, was a good half for us, especially the start, of course, with the, with the early goal. Um, but yeah, I think overall, yeah, I think. Well deserved draw, I think. Yeah. To come back twice at a place like this against a team like that, what does yeah. that say? That we shouldn't come from behind, in my opinion. But it, it is like this, you know, and, and the situation we have to deal with, and we have character, we have the quality, we have to stay patient, that we have to play football, especially against them. Um, and obviously, at times it's difficult, at times it's difficult to find the, find the free space in the, in the, between the lines because they press good. Um, but yeah, eventually we. Uh, you know, it's difficult for an oppo opponent to keep running and keep, keep keeping the same energy level and pressing level uh, for the whole 90 minutes, of course. Virgil, obviously Manchester City pose a different threat to a lot of teams. Not having necessarily that one centre-forward that comes and marks you, what type of threat do they pose to you? How, how is it different to playing other teams? Well, obviously, they, have, they have still have runners in behind, yeah. um, but you need to put pressure, especially on their midfield, I think. And... Um, I think when there was no pressure, for example, on Bernardo Silva, you could you could play the balls in behind or uh, Rodri. Uh, in this case, if the centre backs has the ball, you know the ball is still a long way out for over the top, so you can can run uh, can run back and get the ball. So you know it's a lot of movement, especially up front with them. They move from left to right, dropping in. So you need to be uh, very good in communication, of course. Of course, you're going to go into the into halftime. You know, uh, with a City goes in halftime with a two-one lead. Um, did you guys change the tactics coming out in the in the second half? Or what was the message that Klopp said also going out in the in the second I think, half? I, th I think the main message was to uh, start playing again. Uh, I think there were moments in the first half where we where we kept the ball well, we played the ball quick, and then it's difficult for City to to keep keep their pressure up high, and uh, especially when we have you know such a quality up front with the runs in behind. So we, uh, we had to start playing, and obviously the early goal in the second half helps. Uh, you know, put, knock them a little bit down, uh, but then it's key, uh, key to, to, to keep playing and, and get your moment. So that's what we try to do. And obviously, the, the quality they have, they still create chances, chances moments of, of, of on the break, uh, because they are a fantastic team. Yeah, um, mm. obviously you're both pushing for a winning goal. Mares right at the end. Just give us an idea of the concentration levels you have to have in a high-intensity game like that, Virgil. Yeah, well, you have to. Uh, also, because you, what you said, you're trying to find the winner. Uh, so there will be spaces on the break for both teams. And with that exact moment, obviously we lost the ball. Kevin had the ball, and I <laughs> thought he's got to play the easy pass. But knowing Kevin, he, he saw the, the most difficult one and, and the best one. And... Um, Luckily for us, uh, Maros trying to chip it and, and got blocked. So just finally, seven to play each. Still one point in it. Game on. Game on. Yeah, I said it in uh, after when when we draw Chelsea away that you know anything is still possible and it still still goes like this. Obviously, our running is, is is tougher than than City's, 
but football anything can happen and we uh, we will recover now hopefully qualify now for the next round in the Champions League and then we'll focus on City again for the FA Cup yeah. and that's going to be a hard job as well um, but something we look forward to I think today as well everyone wants to be out today uh, out here today and show your your quality and uh, I, I don't want to be in a situation that I'm not playing for anything this season or I'm playing for everything and that's what I'm enjoying and then we still have uh, a lot of games to go until the end of the season. Well, we're enjoying watching and we really enjoy your company. Thank you very much Thank indeed very for coming much, again. Nice you. to see you again. Cheers. There we go. Really I'll take that. Virgil van Dijk live for us at the Etihad. Um, interesting to hear him talk about the intensity there firsthand. Yeah, the intensity. And uh, I mean, you could sit there and ask him questions all day, couldn't you? I was just listening to him then mm -hmm. and thinking, how brave have you got to be? You know, when you've got no pressure on the ball like that, no pressure mm -hmm. in midfield, and he still plays a high line, he's still, you know, willing to, to squeeze the play because it's all on his head in many ways. He's taken the risk mm -hmm. of being a central defender, but when you've got that pace, I mean, a couple of times, you know, Raheem Sterling ran at him and things mm -hmm. like that, and you just think, wow, just don't do it. He is literally like a brick wall, isn't he? But what a player. And, uh, and he, you know, the style of play that Liverpool have makes for a, fan, a fantastic, fascinating game as well. It was interesting to hear Kevin De Bruyne feel that City had the upper hand today. They had the VAR goal disallowed, and as, as we said to Virgil there, they had a big chance with Mares right at the end. Yeah, definitely. You know, I think they had the best moments in the, into the game to, to extend the lead, first of all, but also to win the game in the end. And, of course, uh, what he said, I think he's dis more disappointed about the, the moments that created that were not converted in the goal, and especially the last one with Morris. Um, but never, nevertheless, you know, they didn't lose. So that's a, that's a plus point for, for De Brown and also for City. So they gain, a, they gain a point and they're still ahead of, of Liverpool with seven matches to go. So it's not going to be easy. Virgil said the same thing. You know, it's game on from now on and anything can happen. And the main thing for them is that uh, the focus has to be in the next game and they have to go step by step and not looking at, uh, at their opponents at this stage. Let's go back to that breathless first half and indeed the unbelievable start. Kevin De Bruyne's deflected goal. Yeah, it was... Uh, it was uh, the Liverpool at that stage was excellent, wasn't it? It was because, you know, when you're on, when you're on the end of a, an onslaught like they were from Manchester City, it takes a lot of courage, a lot of bravery to get past them again. Pedal in that first half. We talked long and hard about the team selection, Gabriel Jesus and his run without a goal. That was ended as well. Well, he made that late run. And as Nigel said, it really makes that finish look easy. It wasn't easy at all. Now, it was curious at half-time when we were discussing the second half. You said City have got to start it well. You said Liverpool could do with an early goal. You weren't talking about 46 seconds, though, <laughs> into the second half. It was the stuff of the, the 46 seconds. So, no coach want to see that. Well, the, uh, the noise you can hear behind us is because Jurgen Klopp has come out. The Liverpool supporters are still in the away end. Uh, obviously, not allowed to leave the stadium yet. So, lovely touch. Uh, between the Liverpool manager and those travelling supporters lucky enough to have an away ticket today. Real connection, isn't there, between the manager and the supporters. He's beaming how, and uh, he is waiting how can to you not, how can well. you not this? How can you not like this guy? You know, I mean, I'm city bias, but he cannot dislike this. I mean, this is the same thing about, you know, the, 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 the relationship he has with his fans. He always takes the time for them. So, yeah, he's a great coach for the, for the club and organisation. Yeah, and he's got an amazing relationship with those fans. I mean, there's very few managers that can come, they can get the team, they can get the tactics, they can get everything about it, but get the place and the people as well. And he is coming, he is just the full package. These fans, the people of Liverpool, absolutely adore this man, and there's no, you know, you, you can understand why. Brilliant manager, brilliant person, and, uh, and he'll be happy with the results today as well. I'm sure he will, and we will hope to talk to him when we come back here at the...